All right. Um, all right. Good day, guys. Let's take a look at the pre-market stocks on here. Um, it's a bunch of stuff popping around. Let's do this. Chart parameters. Um, so first thing I want to look at is Etsy. I mean, good percentage, gap percentage, good volume, incredible strength on the month, on the daily, weekly, as well on the monthly. So um, pre-market is pretty strong as well. So this is something that I would like to watch. Um, let's see, FTRPR, I'm not sure what name this is. PRFS. This is some automation name. Let's try to load this up. Um, it's a five dollar name. I think they're impressive. NC. Uh, turn off this automation. Times so ten. Etsy. FTPRR. PRFS, CTRE, NZ, some seven dollar stock. Uh, nothing too much going on over here. Um, I want to see some decent volume. So go. Not sure how much momentum is still left in this name, so no, no, so go. Um, BRZU is a uh, Brazilian ETF, um, BT, ENPH. This Billy is gapping up pretty good. Uh, Billy is a Chinese momentum name stock. Watch Billy over here. Decent gap, a lot of volume. It's good intro to mover. There's FSM. What else is here? Heroku is gapping up. 250,000 volume. Right. It's just been on a ripper. I would say it might have some gap fill opportunity, so we'll watch Roku. What else is here? Galt. IQ is gapping pretty good. I should watch IQ. Right, I mean, it has formed this consolidation on here on the daily chart. Let's try to retrieve this data, take some time. Let's see. What that is. I mean, after a few days of consolidation, it actually goes. So, we're watching Watch IQ, uh, VKTX, some decent volume. I like the this chart on here looks really good. So we'll watch VKTX. Uh, weekly looks great. Daily looks great. After yesterday, it has some minor pop and then a drop. So we're we'll trying to find some intraday opportunities on this one. Um, what else is here? There's S fix. Nice pop, sideways consolidation. Right. So might be a mover. So let's watch this as well. Stitch fix. Alright. Um, the other thing we want to do is now look for losers. Actually, top percentage gainers, search again. I'm going to do some high volume scanners. AMD, Etsy. I'm going to see if there's anything else I missed out. I have Roku, IQ, so Netflix is gapping. Right. It's gapping up to all time highs. Um, what else is your Baba fit? going on it's Tesla 106,000 shares um, I see this big Kuya so it looks like all the Chinese names are popping with some decent volume all around 
right? Huya, Bili, IQ. So Chinese names are back in play. Sogo is another Chinese name as well. Here. Decent gap percentage, decent volume. Did really well over here on the weekly. Um, NZ, CLF, all right. That's that, percentage losers. What else is gapping down? Uh, FF, not sure what is this? Not a lot of volunteer LRD. Yeah, this is a nice cap percentage over here. Capping up below all of this stuff. Right, it's capping up down here. So maybe there's some opportunities in here. TLRD. Uh, MIK. Big cap, right? We might have a pop before it fades. I mean, generally, in the weekly, it's kind of moving on the sideways. 1941. So we'll watch it on the back burner. Um, what else is here? BITA. So it had this gap and now it's kind of moving down again. So we'll watch BITA. It has some big earnings yesterday and now it looks like it might have a follow through. Decent volume. This is a volatility ETF. UL. Don't want to do anything with this. Tau. Already had a big move yesterday. Oracle. MYL. I like the gap percentage as well as the volume. Um, not a big fan of the various capping though, not a lot of range over there to play with. The rest is just all crap. Let's do it based on volume. The volume, so there's MIK again, TLRD. Here we have that. Uh, TVX, NYL, Tau. Same names popping up again, the whole bunch of ETFs. Um, do this. US stocks. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I don't really see anything else. All right, good enough. Well, let's see. Um, so Etsy, a uh, strong name, right? I wanna see some kind of um, consolidation, maybe some profit taking early in the morning, right? I don't really know which way it's gonna swing. BILI, I think it's already been gapping already. Um, they'll try to find an intraday setup for the long. Roku, it's been gapping pretty much every day. IQ, same thing. Thing one that I want to really want to watch is going to be VKTX, right? After this one, do the whole bunch of consolidation. And now yesterday, right? So I might want to see a continuation of VKTX. Something I want to watch on a um, high interest. Um, S fix this thing loads up. We'll be able to see what's going on. Sometimes with IV charts, just takes a while. I'm not sure if it's the internet or whether it's just the uh, IV charts. Uh, remove this trend line. So on the weekly, it looks like this 25 26 dollar region was a spot where it has kind of feel a bit of trouble over here. Right. Try to bring it down a little bit. 
Uh, this $26 file has been giving me a bit of trouble. Maybe it can go higher, right? So SFIX and VKTX would be the top names to watch. TLRD, um, really no bias. I mean, it looks like it broke this tr overall uptrend, right, after this consolidation. So maybe if it holds under this $28 level, like $28.30, right, might be a good level to actually short. Um, so we'll watch that. MIK, not hoping too much. Maybe if it pops back up to $20, that might be a good opportunity to short, but right now nothing to do. BITA, it's a continuation move, so maybe this goes under 25 bucks. Right, you might see some more, all these people who got trapped over here, I mean, they would might be the persons who are trying to get. So yeah, so top watch, VKTX, uh, SFIX, and TLRD, the rest I'll put on the back burner. Hope you guys enjoyed it, have a good one.